Hi everyone, today our recipe is lamb chukka. It's a very famous South Indian recipe. Okay, let us see the ingredients here. I am going to use uh, half a kg of lamb. Uh, I washed this lamb with uh, uh, turmeric powder and a little bit of salt. You need to wash it for three times so you can avoid the smell. Uh, the same way you can do it with mutton also. And one big size onion finely chopped and uh, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder salt as per taste and one teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds and one uh, dry chili and small amount of ginger i uh, cut it into small pieces and around uh, six garlic pots uh, cut it into half and this is the masala thing i am going to use this for uh, lamb chukka so two uh, dry chili and one tablespoon of coriander seeds and one teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds and one teaspoon of black pepper i'm going to roast all these ingredients i'm going to make a powder and for this lamb chukka i'm going to use sesame oil the sesame oil will give fine taste to this uh, um, uh, lamb chukka instead of sesame oil you can use olive oil or uh, other uh, oil also okay let us see how to prepare first i'm going to roast and make a powder Roasted masala is ready. Now I'm going to grind it. Dry roast this ma masala instead of adding uh, oil. With this masala, I'm going to add this uh, roasted chana mix, uh, and I'm going to grind it everything together. You know this roasted chana will give the thickness to our chuka. That's why I'm adding this. Now I'm going to grind it. Here, ground masala is ready. Let's start start the process. Heat some oil in the pan. Make sure oil is heat. And you know for this lamb chukka, I'm going to use the pressure cooker. Uh, here I'm going to add one teaspoon of cumin seeds, dry chili, and the fennel seeds. Now I'm going to add this chopped red onion. And also I'm going to add salt, which will cook little fast. If you are more spicy, you can add some more dry chilli also or you can add chilli powder. I am going to put this ginger and garlic instead of crushed or paste. I am adding the pieces. So while you are eating, you can get the chunks. Cut it nicely until it gets slightly transparent. Now I am going to add turmeric powder. And I'm going to add this washed uh, lamb pieces. Mix it everything together until the color change. When it started turning lightly white, then we'll add masala. This is a very important step. We should, we should not add water in this point. Can you see this sort of turning color? Mix yeah. it everything together. See, it's almost turned it's color. Now I'm going to add this ground masala, the roasted, dry roasted masala. Now mix it everything together, you know, all lamp pieces should be coated by this roasted masala. Mix it everything together like this. We leave it for one minute. Then we'll add water and close this cooker. I'm going to add one cup of water. Mix it well. Now I am going to close this cooker uh, for next uh, 10 minutes. After 7 whistles, we will take it out.
Now I am going to close it and you have to leave it for ten, uh, 7 visits. It is ready now. I will leave it for 5 more minutes then we will open it. I changed my cooker. My first one is I didn't get the whistle properly so I used this one. Okay, wait for 5 more minutes then I will. I am going to transfer it into the bowl. See how it is thick and check the color. Now I am going to transfer into the bowl. Here finally our lamp chukka is ready to serve now. Garnishing with some chopped coriander leaves. You can serve this uh, chukka with um, rasam rice or uh, chapati, naan, idli, dosa also. Or even idia pam paratha. It's very good combination. Try it yourself. Even you can serve it with uh, bread. Yeah, bread, bread also. It's a good choice with this chukka. See how we achieved this uh, gravy consistency because of the onion and roasted chana dal, mm, roasted chana. Okay, try it yourself. Uh, if you like this video, sus subscribe this and leave your comments. We'll meet in another video. Thank you.